In this video, I'll show you how to calculate the amount by which rails are raised or lowered through a curve. Railways and roadways use different methods to counteract centrifugal force around curves. In roadways, superelevation is applied to change the slope of the lanes. In railways, cant is applied to either raise or lower each of the rails. In both cases, the calculation is done on the AutoCAD Civil 3D alignment geometry. Let's start by examining the alignment in this drawing. The alignment type is set to rail. Cant can be calculated only on an alignment that has its type set to rail. The rail alignment uses a specialized railway design criteria file. It contains tables for minimum radius at given design speeds. The track width value is used in the CANT calculation. You can change the value for the alignment as needed. After the alignment geometry and properties have been validated, the CANT calculation can be started. This alignment does not contain any CANT data. So I'll select Calculate Cant Now. First, you select a pivot method. This specifies whether to maintain the baseline elevation at the low side rail, high side rail, or center line through the curves. The track width value is displayed here, but it can be changed only in the Alignment Properties dialog box. Next, you specify the formulas and tables to use in the CANT calculation. Equilibrium CANT is the theoretical differential elevation that is required to compensate for the centrifugal force that is caused in curves. CANT deficiency is the difference between applied CANT an equilibrium cant. For either of these values, you can either enter a static value or build a mathematical expression to calculate a value based on several known properties. Next, select a design criteria file. This is typically the same file that was used to specify radius and design speeds on the alignment. The Railway Design Criteria file contains formulas for attainment method, rate of applied cant, and transition length. The Design Criteria file also defines the variables that may be used in each formula. These lists contain the standards tables and equations that are defined in the design criteria file. The applied cant table defines the rate at which cant is applied to a curve as a function of alignment properties such as radius and design speed. The transition length table defines the transitions to and from full cant based on specified combinations of radius and design speeds. The attainment method defines how the CANT critical stations are calculated. The CANT critical stations are end level rail, begin full CANT, end full CANT, and begin level rail. Depending on the variables used in the specified attainment method formula, you can specify either percentages of transition to apply on tangents and spirals, or a maximum amount of cant to apply on tangents. When you click Finish, cant is calculated for each curve. The alignment's label set included cant critical point labels, so those labels are now displayed at the specified cant critical points. The CANT tabular editor automatically displays the calculation results for each curve. 
you can edit many of the critical station's calculated values, such as the start and end stations, and applied cant. For each curve, you can change the criteria that was used to calculate Kant and then rerun the calculation on specified curves. Finally, you can view and edit Kant using a graph. A cant view displays how each rail is raised or lowered through the alignment curves. When the cant view is selected, grips become available for editing the applied cant, moving critical stations, or adding critical stations. After the cant calculation is complete, you can use a rail assembly to build a corridor model. Then, you can use the section editor to see how the rails are raised or lowered as the railway curves. I'll hide the corridor in plan so that you can clearly see the location of the section tracker line. In this curve, notice that the left rail elevation is held at a consistent elevation, while the right rail is raised through the transition spiral. The Kant calculation tools make it easy to ensure that your railway design meets your local standards. <music>